hello and welcome to Right Now for Tuesday the 7th of November 2017, I'm Tim Wilms. Despite claiming that an audit of MPs' citizenship would be a witch hunt and even un-Australian, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has finally caved in to pressure from the public, Labor, the minor parties and his own backbench and announced a process requiring all MPs to disclose their citizenship status. Under this process, MPs would be asked to lodge a declaration within 21 days detailing any country other than Australia where they might be a citizen, with a false declaration resulting in MPs being in contempt of Parliament. It is still a process of MPs self-reporting their citizenship status, so it will still not clear up the issue once and for all. And just as Turnbull announced this, we learnt that another Liberal MP, John Alexander, may have citizenship questions to answer on account of his father being born in Britain. The United States has suffered yet another mass shooting, this time at a church in rural Texas. Devin Patrick Kelly, a former US Air Force member who was discharged due to domestic violence charges, has killed 26 churchgoers and injured 20 at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs during a Sunday morning service. It is Texas' worst mass shooting and is a state which is known for its strong adherence to the Second Amendment. Again, there have been calls for gun control, however, it is hard to see how simply restricting legal firearms fix- fixes the minds of deranged individuals who carry out these atrocities. While much of the focus of the past week has been on Hollywood sex scandals, there is also one occurring in British politics, with senior MPs from both major parties in Westminster uh, have been accused of sexual harassment and assault. The most high profile is Defence Secretary Michael Fallon, who has since resigned. Prime Minister Theresa May has responded by establishing a housewide mediation service that will be available to all MPs in what seems like a limp wristed response to a growing scandal. Rumours of rampant sexual abuse amongst Britain's political class have been around for years. It would seem that years of secrecy about sexual abuse amongst our most elite institutions is now being exposed and uh, we now wonder which will be the next one to uh, come into the spotlight. The Spanish government appears to have crushed the newly declared independence of Catalonia with the arrest of dismissed president of Catalonia, uh, Carlos Pigemont. He initially fled to Belgium after being charged by the Spanish Attorney General of sedition, rebellion and embezzlement, but has now handed himself in to police. It is a shame that the vote of the Catalan people has not been respected, and the end result has been complete central control of Catalonia from Spain. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe, and check back here tomorrow to see what is happening right now then.